Well, women's rights around the world was just one of the many issues U.S. President Barack Obama raised in his foreign policy speech last week. Is a reminder of what he had to say. History shows that countries are more prosperous and more peaceful when women are empowered. And that's why we will continue to insist that universal rights apply to women as well as men. Right now in Saudi Arabia, universal rights do not apply to women as well as men. And it's a sad fact that has been highlighted well through the story of Manal al-Sharif. Now, earlier this month, Connect the World brought you a special report on Saudi women drivers. Manal is just one of many who have recently joined a campaign for women to be able to drive. While there are no traffic laws that make it illegal in Saudi Arabia, there are religious edicts that are often interpreted as a ban. Well, Manal wasn't afraid to stand up for her rights. She filmed herself driving and posted the video online. But now she is paying the price. Satika Schubert, following her story for you. It was this image that put Manal al-Sharif in jail. The single mother and IT specialist did something most women take for granted. She drove her car. In Saudi Arabia, driving as a woman is a revolutionary act. Manal was part of Women to Drive, an initiative demanding the right for women to drive and travel freely in Saudi Arabia. She posted this video on the web and spoke to CNN just before her arrest. We see a saying in Arabic, the rain starts with a drop. So this thing is really symbolic thing for us women driving. Very basic need, very insignificant right for us. An insignificant right that landed Manal in jail for more than a week. Police will not say how long she will be held. She has not been charged. Her lawyer has been barred from seeing her. Human rights campaigners say she is being threatened with losing her job and worse, losing custody of her five-year-old boy. We would like to see Manal Sharif uh, released immediately, unconditionally. Uh, any charges against her should be dropped and no other women should be arrested simply for challenging a discriminatory practice. If the arrest was intended to stop women to drive, it has not. Several Saudi women have followed Manal into the driver's seat and uploaded their videos onto the web. Facebook and Twitter accounts in support of Manal have bloomed, with thousands of supporters, many of whom are men, tired of being the only transportation available their wives and daughters, sisters and mothers. But her opponents have also taken to cyberspace. This Facebook page urges men to beat any women they see driving. No. But the most serious denouncements have come from the mosques. In this address posted on YouTube, Sheikh Abdul Rahman Al Barak, one of Saudi's top clerics, condemned women drivers as, quote, opening the wide door of evil. He concluded his remarks by saying, quote, God willing, these women will die. There is now a petition signed by hundreds of Saudis urging Saudi's King Abdullah to release Manal. So far, the king has stayed silent. But it was this interview with ABC's Barbara Walters in 2005 that inspired many Saudi women to believe that the monarch supported their right to drive. Women, I believe, strongly are in the rights of women because women, my mother is a woman, my sister is a woman, my daughter is a woman, my wife is a woman, and I was born of a woman, just as a woman emerged out of a man at the time of creation. I believe the day will come when women drive. Six years since those words and nothing has changed. Manal al-Sharif may be in jail, but as these homemade videos show, it has not stopped the demand and the determination for change. Atika Schubert, CNN, London. We spoke with several women today who were too fearful to be interviewed about this subject, but my next guest is not one of them. Imam al Nafjan is a teacher and PhD student in Riyadh who writes a blog under the name Saudi Woman. Like many in Saudi Arabia, she too has a driver. She joins me now on the phone. Um, first, your reaction to Manal's story. Um, I feel bad for Manal, and I, uh, and I don't think that she should be in, in prison. 
uh, she didn't do anything. We were a country uh, based on Islam, and she didn't do anything against Islam by driving. Um, when she drove, she drove with her brother, and she was decently dressed, and there's nothing, nothing in Islam that says she can't do that. Would the majority of men, do you think, really object to women driving in Saudi Arabia? Um, actually, I don't believe so. Uh, maybe 20 years ago, yes, when the first protest began. But now, um, things have changed. Um, the economy has changed. People have opened their eyes to the rest of the world. The, the mentalities have changed. I think that most Saudis would, uh, men and women, Listen. Um, most to be able to sure. have women drive. Listening to the King in Atika's report there, being interviewed by Barbara Walters, you'd be forgiven for being confused. He says the day will come when women um, will drive in Saudi. Do you believe that? I remember when it was first shown, the, the interview, there was a lot of hope and uh, optimism. People were talking about it and they were saying, oh, the decision is going to come, it's going to come, we're just waiting for the announcement. Mm. And then we waited one year, a second year, and it just didn't come. Documents given to WikiLeaks uh, earlier show that the Obama administration actually pushed Saudis to give female citizens more rights. When you heard Obama's speech uh, last week, um, talking about um, lauding the rights of women, but making absolutely no reference to Saudi Arabia, nor to human rights there, or the denial of rights for anybody. What did you think? I didn't think anything. I mean, we live in a global community, and supporting each other is part of that. But really, I believe this is an internal issue that needs to be resolved internally. Um, giving it media attention might help it come up, you know, rise up to the top, and that's good. But... Um, no, no outside forces will be able to resolve this. This is something for Saudi. Iman, we absolutely appreciate uh, you uh, being with us this evening and uh, listening to your words. Yeah, you're making a lot of sense. Thank you for that. You're watching Connect World when we come back.